Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. And of course, in this episode, I'm going to be looking at nuclear fission and fusion. Okay, so I'm going to be looking at these two concepts, nuclear fission and nuclear what, fusion. All right, so no, uh, as usual, don't forget to like this video. Like in this video, make other students easily find this video and they can also learn and pass like you. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free. It's just to notify you whenever I release a new video. And of course, do not forget to share this video to all your class group, your friends and loved ones who are writing this exam. All right, and of course, this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. Let us see a question from the app. This is a 2023 question number 22. All right, they say, what is the process by which two light atomic nuclei, two light atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus? Okay, two light atomic what nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus? A, fission, B, decay, C, fusion, D, transmutation. All right, so I'm going to come back to this question and many other questions, okay, on this application after the class, after we are done with the class, not before. All right, so also do not forget to download your O3 School Jam app. It has all you need to succeed in your exam. All the past questions are there, so you don't need to buy past questions outside. Also, there's a classroom that has lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus, so you are not you do not need to go and buy a textbook outside. Then, likewise, we have what the question search feature. Then we also have the bomb, the UTME mock challenge every Saturday. Compete with your mate, win prizes, get you to jump pass and likely exam questions. And what is more is that what you see your result release every Saturday, so it, it enables you to track your progress and build your confidence towards the main exam. So please jump on the application, download it and activate it for a small fee. Do not be stingy to yourself. All right, so now let's have uh, what you have from the birthday, nuclear fission. Even from the word, English word, English definition says fusion. Fusion means what? You are bringing something together. Okay, why fission means what? You are splitting something. You are sp splitting. Okay, fission. All right, fission is what? Splitting. Fusion is what? Bringing together. So they are opposite of each other. All right? So nuclear fusion and what? And fusion uh, leads to what? To what? To release of what? Of energy. Nuclear fusion and fusion leads to what? To the release of energy. So let's begin with nuclear what? Uh, fusion. What is nuclear fusion? Nuclear fusion is the splitting of a heavy nucleus. Okay? It's a what? It's the splitting of a heavy what? Nucleus into two or more what? Uh, lighter what nucleus okay we say that what nuclear fission let's write that down that nuclear fission it is splitting of a heavy nucleus heavy nucleus into two into two or more lighter nucleus okay or nuclei with the release of energy okay so nuclear fission fission is the splitting of a heavy nucleus into two or more lighter what nuclei okay nuclei with the release of what of energy energy is always what release energy is always what release there's always what a release of energy that is fission okay the splitting of a heavy nucleus into two or more lighter what nuclei with the release of energy okay so an example is seen when you run on 235 235 what 92 absorbs a neutron okay so when you run on 235 92 absorbs a neutron are going to have something like this Okay, and then to give you what uranium 236 watt 92. All right, you can see here that the, that the mass, nuclear mass increased by one, all right, but what but the nuclear charge remains was unchanged. Okay, so this is an example of what of nuclear fission. When what uranium 23592 absorbs a neutron, what happens is that what it quickly splits into what two. Okay, so it will give us what barium 14156 plus krypton. 92 36 then plus what three what neutrons then plus energy energy is released okay so this is an example of what of a nuclear what fission all right you see example of a nuclear fission new uranium 23592 92 absorbing a neutron okay to now give us uranium 236 92 it quickly splits okay it, it splits into two 141 billion 14156 
krypton 92 36 plus three what uh, uh neutrons okay plus energy okay plus release of energy if you calculate the masses one this one for two one plus 92 plus one 56 36 and zero you see that what that the masses the wall correspond to 236 and what and 92 respectively so this is an example of what of nuclear what fission all right also fission uh nuclear fission finds application in making of what in the production of fission bomb it finds application in the what in the production of what fission bomb the one we call atomic bomb okay so nuclear what fission finds application in the production of what of fission bomb that's what we call what the atomic bomb. It's also applied in the operation of nuclear reactors. It's also uh, applied, okay, in the operation. It's also applied in the operation, operation of a nuclear reactor, okay. And for a nuclear reactor, okay, so there are some uh, there are some materials that are used to slow down to slow down what the the, the speed okay of what of neutrons okay in a nuclear reactor we call them what uh, uh, moderators we call them moderators moderators they are used to what to slow down the speed of what of neutrons okay in what in a nuclear what reactor we, we call them what moderators okay examples of what these moderators are d2o okay and again we have what graphite and graphites Okay, these are what are moderators. Okay, they are used what in what in nuclear reactor to what to slow down to slow down the speed of what of what of neutrons. Okay, to slow down the speed of what of electrons. Okay, so these are what moderators. All right, they are working towards to slow down the speed. Okay, of what of electrons in a nuclear reactor. Now, also when the entropy due to what to this neutron seem to be too high in a nuclear reactor, when the entropy, you know what entropy is, right? We talk about what entropy before. Okay, we say the degree of randomness or disorderliness of a system. Okay, when the word the degree of what of entropy, okay, of this what neutrons in the nuclear reactor seems to be too high. Okay, we also we also need to what add what some what some uh some moderators. Uh, example is what is boron and cadmium. All right, so we, we add what uh, boron and what and cadmium to what to absorb to absorb what this excess what neutrons to absorb this excess neutrons. All right, so please take note of that. Okay, so we we'll talk about moderators. We say that the moderators are used to what they are used to what to slow down what electrons in a what in a nuclear what reactor in a nuclear what reactor okay and then we also say that what uh, uh some of these what moderators are what d2 oh this is called heavy water d2 d2 o okay some people call it deuterium oxide okay it's what heavy water and they also have graphite can use graphite and what or D2O to what to slow down to act as moderators. Okay, but when the entropy due to this neutron seems to be too high, okay, well, we need to what to add what boron and what and cadmium can cadmium to absorb these excess electrons to absorb what the excess what electrons. All right, so that's all you need to know about what about nuclear uh, nuclear fission. Okay, so let's quickly talk about nuclear fusion. We say fission is splitting. That means that fusion is what is joining. Abi is the bringing together of two uh, lighter nucleus nuclei to form what a heavy what uh, nucleus with the release of energy. Okay, so it's as simple as ABC. All right, let us see nuclear fusion. So the nuclear fusion on the other hand now is the joining of two light nuclide okay to form a heavy nucleus okay with the release of energy okay energy is always what release okay we say nuclear fusion is the joining of two light nuclide okay to form what a heavy nucleus with the what with the release of what of energy okay an example of this is what are uh, the fusion of deuterium and tritium okay to give us the helium what nucleus okay no uh the isotopes of what of hydrogen we have proton okay we have deuterium and they have what tritium Okay, so the what the fusion of what this deuterium and what and tritium gives us and what gives us a helium what nucleus. Okay, so this deuterium, let us see that is what uh uh H 
two, one. This is deuterium, okay? Then plus again, we now have tritium, three, one. All right, all of them atomic number one, all right? Then this now gives us what now? Uh, helium nucleus, four, two, He. Then plus what? One, zero, and then plus what? Energy. Okay, so this is an example of what of nuclear what fission. This is an example of nuclear fusion. They coming together of what two what uh, isotope of, of, of hydrogen to what to give us what helium nucleus plus what uh, a neutron and what and the release of what of energy. Okay, so this is nuclear fusion coming together. Okay, in the other one nuclear fusion we saw splitting. Okay, but in what nuclear uh, fusion we see what joining we see what bringing together of what two light nuclide to what to give us what a heavy nucleus with the release of energy. Okay, and also nuclear uh, nuclear fusion finds application in the production of hydrogen bomb. In the production of hydrogen bomb. Please take note, okay? Nuclear fission finds application in the production of hydrogen bomb. The energy of the sun also is produced by the thermonuclear fusion, okay, of what of hydrogen isotopes, all right, to form what the to, to form what the helium what nucleus, okay? Even the energy of the sun, energy of the sun, energy of the sun, okay, is what is produced, okay, by the thermonuclear fusion, thermonuclear, say thermonuclear. Thermonuclear fusion, okay, of what two or more hydrogen of uh, of many what hydrogen isotopes, okay, to give us what the helium what to give us the helium what nucleus. All right, so as a take home, okay, it is good to know that the sun generates about six hundred and sixty million metric tons, okay, six hundred and what sixty million metric tons, metric tons of hydrogen per second of hydrogen per second the sun okay the sun that you see it generates about 660 million metric tons of hydrogen per second and of course it generates okay and it produces it generates this and produces about 616 million metric tons metric tons metric tons of helium nucleus per what per second per second though okay so that is what the fusion that what happens what in the what in the sun, all right? The energy of the sun. That's how it generates is what is energy, all right? That's how we say that what that the energy of the sun is the thermonuclear fusion of what of hydrogen isotopes to form what the helium nucleus. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the past questions in quick immediately and what and take some question from the O3 school jump up and we are done with this class. A 2023 question number 22 says, What is the process by which two light atomic nuclei? Okay, combine to form a heavy nucleus. Okay, two light atomic nuclei that is fusion. A B, A, they say fusion, B, decay, C, fusion, D, transmutation. Correct answer there is what C, fusion. 2022 34 says the process in which the nucleus of a heavy element is split, the nucleus of a heavy element is split into two nuclei of nearly equal mass with a release of energy and radiation is known as well. So two nuclei are coming together. All right, that will be, of course, they say, sorry, uh, the process in which the nucleus of a heavy element is split. Okay, a heavy nuclei is what is being split. All right, that would be what nuclear fission. All right, A, C, fission, B, fusion, C, nuclear charge, D, nuclear energy. Correct answer there is nuclear fission. Then third one, they say, what is nuclear fission? 2023, number 34. What is nuclear fission? Later, you say they don't repeat past question. They do. The process of combining two light atomic nuclei to form a heavier nucleus. B, the process of splitting a heavy atomic nucleus into two or more lighter nuclei. C, the process of converting a solid into gas directly. D, the process of changing a liquid into a solid. Okay, correct answer there is what is option B. The process of splitting a heavy atomic nucleus into two or more lighter nuclei. All right, so this is where I'm going to stop. Please download the app, activate, and start what uh, practicing your way to success. See you at the top.